Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. We got a couple of uh, more. We got a couple more character demos uh, going on for uh, chapter eight of this game. Whoops. Got uh, three new monster classes that we unlocked during the course of uh, chapter eight of episode eight. They're they're all pretty cool. We also unlocked some generic classes, I think, just by virtue of clearing chapter eight and getting the good ending. But, uh, those can wait for a little bit. Alright, so, first of all, we have the Rifle Demon. These guys have been in the series since this guy, too. Uh, they're all about ranged attacks. As you can see, their abilities are, uh, all about their, uh, well, two of their abil abilities uh, seem to be all about their uh, regular attack. Power Shot is just a flat attack strength increase, which uh, is pretty nice, I would think. I don't know, maybe you could think of a ability that would be better. <clears throat> but that is pretty good all around. As for their stats, you can see the they like attack and HP a lot. Defense, uh, hit... Yeah. Uh, pretty high stats uh, where it's important. I mean, speed is a little low, but you can't have everything, I guess. Unless you're a Majin. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, um, yeah, you can see they've we got the uh, usual array of uh, five monster skills. Let's start checking stuff out. First up, Ignition. It hits exactly two tiles away. E rank and uh, it does star damage. Let's check it out. Seems like a kind of thing Samus Aaron might do. I don't know. Of course, these guys are actually inspired by the uh, Cyber Demons from Doom. Majin summoned from another dimension. Its rifle arm possesses immense power. So, yeah. <clears throat> Bastard Black. We've seen these, uh... <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, if you have a Bastard Sword, I guess it's not entirely out of unreasonable that there would be such a thing as a Bastard Rifle. Or gun, or something. But anyway, yeah. We've seen this animation already, but still gonna show it off for the sake of completeness. Next up. Not flying. Catapult. B rank, it does uh, star damage again, and it uh, hits kind of like a gun. You, you just vacuum that ghost up right up into your core. Alright, uh, just as a demo, yeah, see, same uh, attack range as a gun. What was this skill called? Rifle Death. Ooh, B rank. That's nice. No, oh, they were targeting, uh. They're targeting, uh, circles. I thought they were portals at first. Hey! Nice, we got a legendary emblem. Very weak one, but I mean, you know, you take what you can get. All right, Bert, time to mount up and uh, show us what you're capable of with Space Galaxy Kick. It's got a long range, which is good. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty flashy. 
I like it. And Flan just ends the fight for us. By virtue of uh, being my most powerful unit in this file. But we're not done yet. Next up, we have uh, the Sea Angel. These guys are new. But they uh, serve kind of the same uh, purpose as uh, idols and cheerleaders. Or whatever you want to call them did in, the, uh, in Disguise 3 and 4. As you can see, they are uh, very much uh, magically oriented. In fact, they learn three tiers of ice spells. Do they learn healing spells by any chance? No. All right, yeah. You can see they've got a uh, uh, six buff spells, all of which uh, increase a different stat. Very nice. And they also have uh, their usual array of attack skills. Nothing too impressive uh, compared to the Rifle Demons, but hey. Lovely Song increases allied stat ally stats by 5%. Happy Song increases EXP earned by 10%. Fortune Song increases mana earned by 20%. Could be good to make 9 of these. Just for... Er, actually, no. Make 27 and have... Uh, uh, split them into three teams and have each of them serve a different purpose. <laughs> there you go. Yes, the uh, the wonderful excesses of having a zillion support units and a roster big enough to accommodate them. Water guillotine is out of range. There you go. E class uh, does water damage. Not too bad, of course. Uh, it's doing damage based on our attack, because uh, this particular Sea Angel does not have a, uh, have a weapon equipped. They are very much the type to prefer a black monster weapon over a red. Let's see. Non-elemental. Wow, <laughs> that's a that's a little creepy. Ice wall circle. Okay, that ain't right. That also ain't right. What the heck, video game? There we go. That's that's pretty funny. I can see the humor in that. <clears throat> and finally, their mounted skill. Actually, wait, no. Got one more skill to show off first. Dam Maker. Okay. So many ice cubes. You stop telling me where, when, and how I can play my movies and music, and I will not crush your homes under my inexorably advancing wall of ice. Alright, Flan, time to mount up and uh, go to town. With the Sea Angel. They're surprisingly squishy. Well, I mean, they are slugs. Reverse Sephiroth! Heck yeah! <laughs> Alright, uh... 
Let's get you out of the way and move on to the next monster class. We have the Succubus. These guys have been in the game since Disgaea 1, and they probably are not going away anytime soon. They're flying types, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if sea angels are flying types or not. That uh, might be a good thing to... Uh... In fact, they are. Okay, good to know. Alright, so, uh, these guys are also magic users. They learn fire spells, and heal spells from the looks of it. Yeah, three tiers of fire, three tiers of healing. Not bad. Uh, it seems like all of their skills inflict a prave. I mean, it is a succubus we're talking about here. Distracted by the sexy is, uh, they natural power of their monster class. Right, abilities. Uh, yeah. Sexy aura. Decreased stats of adjacent enemy male units. Punishment. Incl inflict 25% of damage taken from enemy male unit to attacker. <coughs> I'm not really sure what that means. Like, is it a running total or what? I don't know. Shame. Increased stats by 5% per male unit on the map. All uh, pretty interesting, if a bit situational. And uh, Etna could theoretically be one of these, I don't know. Seems kind of appropriate. Of course, Etna is also a teenager, so, uh, it, uh, I mean, it goes without saying that she wouldn't have as much experience in this stuff. Uh, plus, there's the matter of uh, her being so flat. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I like the disguise. And, oh no, there's an Annabelle. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. We got a puppy. Hello, puppy. <laughs> Hi, puppy. <laughs> You were just so happy to see me. Okay, bye puppy. <laughs> Dog fan. This has been a very interesting week so far. Alright, Nightmare Carnival. Uh, insert an uh, insane clown posse reference here. I like the skill they had in Disgaea 3 where uh, they just turned the enemy into a bat and then stomped on them. They don't seem to have that here. Unless it's the next skill. Uh, I would be surprised if it was, though. <coughs> Twin Attribute. Mysterious Attack using a Sun and Moon. B Class. Very cool, uh, even if it doesn't really fit the theme of the, the other stuff going on. But hey, sometimes you just need power and style. And in a pinch, style can slide. Alright, Judgment Rendezvous. Oh no, it's a Toy Story reference. I mean, okay, that was, uh, that was pretty flashy. So, yeah. A bit shorter video than, uh, some of these have been, but... Hey, it's a thing. <sighs> yeah, it's a thing. <laughs>